We are one day closer to that storm you've been talking about all week long. It's been up there. We've been watching it on the seven day get closer and getting closer, closer, and closer and it just hits right in time for the weekend. Now the first one's going to be mainly impacting southern Utah. I've been highlighting a northern Utah storm. That one's changing just a little bit. But let's first focus in on what's going on across the state. Not much. Another sunny day. No concerns with any clouds or showers. We're keeping the high pressure in place for now. That's a view from southeastern Utah where you're going to be looking in Moab with clear conditions all throughout the evening into tomorrow morning. Now a view from our Utah Lake webcam. This is just west of Utah Lake. You can see Saratoga Springs there. You can see for miles, but you're also noticing the haze a little bit thicker here today with hazy conditions along the valley floors. We're noticing air quality decreasing just a bit. We're in that moderate concern level, at least for Salt Lake and Utah counties. Right now we're at 40 degrees in Salt Lake City, so a little warmer than yesterday. Winds fairly light. Visibility is good. And speaking of winds, Last night, well, really yesterday afternoon through the morning hours, we had some stronger canyon winds. Those have died off as we look across the state. Calm conditions. Winds will pick up just a little bit come late tomorrow in preparation of that next storm. Now, where is that storm? Well, it's not close to the state right now. We look off in the distance. We're seeing it track and dig southward towards Southern California. Its trajectory and track will move it through Southern California, clipping Northern Arizona and then pushing through Southern and Central Utah come Saturday. So this is mainly half of the state southward. We'll see an impact and it looks to bring heavy showers, both rain and snow across again most of that region as we look in central and southern Utah. Now how much are we talking about? Now snow levels as it does push through we'll see rain rain changing into snow. Snow levels dropping down to about 7,000 feet but there are some spots where we could see some valley snow accumulations a little bit higher up as you can see expected from Saturday through Sunday 6 to 12 inches for the central mountains a little bit more for the southern mountains southwest and central valley so as we're talking you know Richfield down through uh, Fillmore into Cedar City over towards Gunnison that region can see one to four inches castle country. So as we go from Price over towards Mountain View, Farron, those areas, it's two to six inches. So you're not looking at the Wasatch Front or the Northern Valleys. That storm misses us, even though it'll bring in some clouds. And then there's a storm behind it that looks to bring some showers across northern Utah Sunday into Monday. Now we are scaling back from that storm. It'll bring the showers only about a 30 percent possibility a lot less accumulation and temperatures will not be dropping as much as we previously thought. So improvements there. But the good things from this storm is it's hitting central and southern Utah where you've been kind of not involved in the action as of late. So that's good news where again the snowpack looks good down there, but we definitely could add on to it. Now tonight it's clear, cold, 20s along the Wasatch Front, single digits in Park City, teens in Price, mid 30s in St. George. Tomorrow a little bit warmer, also seeing a little bit more haze at least across northern Utah. We're in the 30s though in Logan as you've been trapped in the 20s over the past couple of days, even upper 30s in Park City, 50s though across southwestern Utah and mid 60s in St. George. Now for the Dixie area, the rain gets going kind of mid morning on Saturday and when it hits it's going to hit hard fast as we'll see that heavy rainfall throughout Saturday. Always keep our eye on that. Areas of flooding could be a possibility but again higher up in elevation so as you move through Cedar City and some other locations it'll be a mixture of rain and snow and then snow piling up through some of the canyons and the mountains as well. Now that storm moves away by early Sunday morning. We're good to go thereafter as temperatures return back in the 60s by the middle of next week. Now for northern Utah you're not seeing the shower activity until Sunday and it's a mixture of rain and snow that lingers on into Monday. Now we're trying to get our hands on how much snow we're looking for the mountains. Valley is really not going to get in the mix as far as valley accumulations, but look where temperatures are going. We're previously thought low 30s, but we're not getting out of the 40s and we quickly rebound back into the 50s next week. But we avoid the storm until uh, late Sunday into Monday, so most of the weekend should be okay.